Hello, so today we're going to be talking about slow computers. I'm going to be talking about speeding up your computer without changing the hardware. Well, it could work to some extent, but still it will help and I hope this video helps. So let's get started. First of all, the best thing you could do to speed up your computer is number one, to install a fresh copy of Windows in the C drive, of course, after formatting the drive. And the second thing you wanna do is update it to the latest version of Windows. They just reduce the bugs. Number three is disable startup apps. Uh, startup apps might be like, for example, you're not using OneDrive, so you disable that and some other useless app, for example, uh, might be included by your uh, manufacturer. I'm not going to make it specific for any brand, but you know, there are always useless apps in your windows. Either the best thing is to just uninstall them. If not, then just at least disable them in the start. And number four is to avoid uh, websites like uh, torrent download websites. And the, the thing is that they bring viruses. Torrents bring viruses. Uh, you might not be aware of that, but there's a great chance that your computer might be infected by a torrent. Most of the websites use uh, pop-ups uh, to infect your computer and in some cases they might end up locking your computer and the hackers might ask for extra money to just unlock your computer so the best thing is just to avoid the websites and into my last point is to just serve the legit websites all right so if you don't want to do what i said uh, what is best for you it might be that you don't want to lose your data or you're just too lazy to do that but there are some other ways that might help you speed up your computer based on some software tweaks. So number number one thing you want to do is update your Windows to the latest version. Like go to the Windows updates and install the updates. Number two is run a full scan of uh, Windows Defender. Uh, Windows Defender, you might not know that, but it's uh, pretty competitive. Uh, if you compare it with the other antiviruses, some people install two antiviruses in their computers, which is completely wrong. You don't want to do this. They think that ha they have extended security, but that's completely wrong. If you still don't trust Windows Defender, at least install one antivirus, is not more than that. Otherwise, it will slow down your computer and you'll end up like uh, having a hard time even opening a notepad uh, text. And I'll still recommend using Windows Defender. It's lightweight and it's free. And uh, its security is way better than you think. Furthermore, you wanna go to the startup and see what apps are uh, having a hard impact on your startup and on your computer. There's always written uh, how hard the impact is of that program but still i'll recommend just disabling all of them if not all of them at least most of them are useless so disable them and last but not the least use a disk defragmenter how you do that well go to the start then uh, write uh, disk defragmenter and then uh, defragment each and every disk if you can't uh, defragment each and every disk at least defragment C, so your computer will at least be a little faster. It is the best to defragment all of the drives and uh, defragmenter is just that it uh, puts your files in, uh, in, in order. I hope you like this uh, video, if so then like, share and subscribe and click on the notification bell uh, so you won't miss any video that I upload and I will guess I'll see you in the next video. Peace.